Hey everybody, it's Marty Pelto. I'm one of the artists on the Nags Guitar website, and I am here today to show you the differences between the Nags Kanai J and the Nags Kanai Tier 2. So what I have here is a P90 version, dual P90, of the Olive Drab Nags Kanai J, and it is wonderful. Got the mahogany neck, the mahogany body. Uh, excellent guitar. I promised Peter Wolf a few months ago when I got this guitar that I would uh, do a comparison video between the normal Kanai Tier 2 that I have and the, the J. And what better time than now in these circumstances to do a video since a lot of us have a lot of spare time. So I hope you enjoy it. Uh, the Kanai Tier 2 that I have is number 149. And it's a tier two top, and it's got the uh, the older style tuners on it that were available back many years ago, maybe eight or nine years ago, I think. So that one's got Seth Lover humbuckers. This one has the Dog Ear P90s. A lot of people um, love the the Junior style Les Paul, and if anybody owned one, you know that their tuning and intonation's a little bit out of whack and you'll find in this demo I think that that's not an issue with this guitar. The bridge is very uh, very good. It's got the adjustable intonation saddles. I love the patina. Everything about this guitar is uh, top of the line. Plays wonderful. So without any further ado I will play for you. I don't claim to be the best guitar player in the world but uh, I get by. So. Please don't critique the playing, just listen to the tones. I'm going through uh, Positive Grid Effects Bias 2. Some patches that I made, and I'm using a 59 Tweed uh, simulator, and I'm using the Celestian Impulse responses that they provide through the Effects Bias 2 Elite version. Great plugin, by the way, for the money. I don't think you can beat it, so. reverb and delay, that's it. Some boost, get a little bit of tone on it. We're doing the middle uh, pickup position right now, both uh, humbuckers, or both P90s, sorry. the neck pickup. Switch it down to the bridge. I have only tuned this guitar once today, and the sun is beating down on this guitar. It's very warm in this room, and it has not changed tuning since. So. I'll show you, I'll take a capo, and a lot of us really get concerned when we put a capo on, especially us that play in praise and worship at church, and the singers always want to play something in F or a flat key or something crazy. And we're worried that our intonation is going to be messed up and we can't stop and tune, but not the issue with this guitar.
right, so we'll compare that to the Kanai Tier 2. Let me mute this so I don't make any weird noises. Okay, so the Tier 2. Seth Lover Humbuckers. We'll start off in the neck position. Same amp. Middle position. Bridge. Beautiful guitar, great tone. One nice thing about this, it's got the, the belly cut, unlike a lot of Les Pauls. It's got this beautiful binding on the edge. You can see the flame and the binding. Just gorgeous. Beautiful fret inlays. Okay, so let's try a little bit different tonality before this video gets too long and everybody loses complete interest. Okay, so here I'll select a uh, fuzz pedal. So this is a black face, a 67 black face with a fuzz. A germanium fuzz. That was the bridge, go in the neck. Middle pickup. switch over to the tier two with the humbuckers, the Seth Lovers, same patch, 67 blackface amp, germanium fuzz. Up to the neck. Middle. Roll back a little bit. last thing that we'll do is just a, a normal type uh, vintage distorted amp. Nothing crazy. Let's see. We'll just go with a standard lead tone here. Something kind of like a hot rotted Marshall with a little bit of delay. Neck pick up here. Pickup.
easy to get lost in the noodling, so sorry about that. And same patch with the tier two. Go in the neck position, and here's what we have. <laughs> difference between the Kanai J and the Tier 2. So I hope this was informative and everybody enjoyed watching it. If you'd like to see more videos, let me know. Who knows, if I've got time, I might throw some more out there. Have a good day.